And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth. We are going to continue on in the book of Psalms. And today we're going to be in Psalm chapter 21. And this goes along with Psalm chapter 20. Pastor Sarah covered that this past Saturday. Psalm 20 is a fantastic psalm. Uh, David describes who God is. And it's, it was his prayer that we would experience that everlasting God, the counselor, the prince of peace, that God is our banner. He's our strength. He's our victory. I mean, it was such a great psalm. And Psalm chapter 21 now, David thanks the king, thanks the Lord that he is the king and thanks him for who he is and what what the Lord provides him. Today, would you go to the Lord with a gratitude, with a heart of thanksgiving for who he is, for what he has provided for you? As And if you didn't read Psalm chapter 20, I encourage you to read that first, then um then you can read Psalm chapter 21. I'm going to read just verses 1 through 7, but I want you to understand and think about all that the Lord has done in and through you and how he has provided for you as we read Psalm 21, verses 1 through 7. Listen, the king rejoices in your strength, Lord. How great is his joy in the victories you give. You have granted him his heart's desire and you have not withheld the request of his lips. You came to greet him with rich blessings and placed a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him. Length of days, forever and ever. Through the victories you gave, his glory is great. You have bestowed on him splendor and majesty. Surely you have granted him unending blessings. You made him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. Through the unfailing love of the Most High, he will not be shaken. So the question I have for all of us today, whatever whatever time of day you are watching this, is this. Do you trust the Lord? Do you trust in his unfailing love? Do you trust that he is faithful and just? Do you trust that his desire is to shower you down with blessings and provisions and strength and victories over the battles that we face on a consistent basis. He has the power and we have the access to that power. Would you go to him? Would you go to him in anticipation with expectation that whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, you can even thank him in advance for the victories that we will overcome. Whatever whatever battle we're facing, whatever the devil is tempting us with, we can thank God in advance that we can overcome anything that Satan has against us because the battle is already won. Scripture is very clear here. So let's go to him with, with confidence. Let's go to the Lord with a gratitude and a heartfelt appreciation for who he is and what he provides for us today. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.